Welcome back. We are week 14 of my Rockford Indoor Sunday League. Before we jump into this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get right into it. So, coming into this game, I believe that we're like 10 and 2, maybe 11 and 2. I, I really don't know. I've been losing track. All I know is that we are in fourth place. So, every game is a must win. So, we could try to catch one of the other teams ahead of us off guard. Now, this was a game where individually I feel like I played very, very well. Still managed to give up four goals over the course of the game. But this team's press really had us in shambles. We're just playing so sloppy on the backside of things. And just like that, about three minutes in, we already found ourselves with our first goal of the game. And then here is where I made one of the wackiest saves I probably ever made. And don't ask why I, I did what I did. It goes against every goalie technique to ever exist to do something like that because you're supposed to put your body in front of it. Of course, you run the risk like the ball hitting the back of your head in that type of situation. To be real with you, I don't know why I did it. Maybe I'm just scared of getting hit, so I didn't want to get hurt. There's a lot of times where I'm scrambling and I don't know where my six yard box is because indoor fields are weird, especially on this one. I, I run out thinking I can't use my hands like I'm running across, but I made the save. <laughs> Finally, after all the pressure they just continuously put on us, it ended up paying off. I just kind of had a feeling. Uh, they had the striker number seven who was getting it on net a lot, and I just couldn't make the one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, boys. I would say that all year long, this has been the biggest issue for our team, hands down, is that we always play to the level of our competition. When we play teams that are in like the top eight in the playoffs, we either beat them or maybe have a really close game. When we play teams that are in like 12th, 13th, 14th, we really struggle and barely come out with a win. Then, off of one of my poorly hit long balls, we somehow get a goal out of this one. Now, this next distribution annoyed me because look where the ref is standing and look where I could have easily thrown the ball to my striker. Now, going into the second half, I believe that we were tied 2-2 two, two, or we were up 3-2. to two. It's, it's one of those, but things didn't get really any prettier for us. The, the same sloppiness kind of went through the whole way. I was exhausted. This is the most pressure I think that I've had on me in the back of the net in quite some time. Now, this next save, I don't know how I pulled this off. Usually, like sometimes the ref lets it go quick. Other times, they don't, but look at this. So as you can see, every single person was confused. Um, I don't understand what it is. For me personally, I feel like if it's something that's within like the six yard box or really close, the ref should allow everybody to get set up quickly and then go. Uh, if it's further out, then yeah, you can play the ball fast. But that's why we're all confused by it because the refs don't really communicate much in this league. Then, rest in peace to their tripod. So the rest of the, the camera angles are gonna look very funky for the rest of the video.
Then I had a bit of friendly fire from my boy Amon. Honestly, I just did not expect it to come off his head like this. And yeah, I mean, it was a beautiful header. Remember how Amon had scored the own goal? Well, he made up for it. He scored two goals in less than a minute. One beautiful volley, one full pitch goal to close this one out. That is how it comes to a close 7-4 victory. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. More videos coming your way over the next few weeks. I'll see you then.